On April 12, 2019, the legislature reached its third deadline for bills to be heard. The Minnesota Commission of Deaf and Hard of Hearing has good news to report. All of the bills that we took a lead on advanced to the next level. The Deafblind Intervenor Bill is on its way to final passage. The remaining six bills are in Ombus Bills, which is a large bill that includes many different bills that were heard and passed out of a committee. These six bills are either in the House Ombus Bill only, or the Senate Ombus Bill only, or they're in both bills. All will be a part of the conference committee and could still get passed, so we are hopeful. The bills led by others and the commission supports have similar status as the commission's bills. They have passed out of committee, either through the House, the Senate, or both, and will move on to the next step. Only one bill did not make it through, the hearing aid insurance bill. Next, we will share specific updates for each of the bills. The Commission's request for an increase of $450,000 was included in both the House and the Senate bills. The additional funds would cover a government relations specialist, a policy analysis, studies and research, leadership training, and increased costs of accommodations. This bill will be discussed in the House and Senate jobs. Energy and Utilities Conference Committee. The House created a special grant program for the Metro Deaf School for $100,000 to cover the cost of children birth to age three for the next four years. The Senate would not give the bill a hearing. We will work to convince the Senate to agree to include the grant in the final bill. This will not completely fix Metro Deaf School's problem, but will provide the school with enough money to cover the estimated cost of children birth to 36 months for several years. Once they have demonstrated their success, they will be in a stronger position to get into the regular payment system and can come back to the legislator in two to four years. First, we will have to get the Senate to agree to the House positions. This bill will be discussed in the House and Senate Education Policy and Finance Conference Committee. The House included $64,000 for 2020 and 2021 to study reestablishing a program. The Senate included 50,000 for one year. This will be discussed in the House and Senate Higher Education Conference Committee. The Minnesota State Academy for the Deaf got their request for their operating costs in the House, but they only got their base in the Senate. They got $13 million in the House for asset preservation, a safety corridor, 
and improving the mechanical systems and accessibility in the dormitories. The Minnesota State Academy has been providing legislative updates in their monthly superintendent's corner. Be sure to follow them. The bill had its final passage in the House. We will advocate for its final passage in the Senate. We think that this will happen soon. Thanks to Sally, Mike, and Andrew Crouty for their advocacy. The bill is in the House Health and Human Services on this bill. It did not get a hearing in the Senate because they ran out of time. The chair of the Senate committee said that she would agree with the House version. The bill will be discussed in the House and Senate Health and Human Services Conference Committee. This bill did not advance. We will try again in the future. This bill was included in the Senate, but not in the House. We believe that this bill is very important and are working hard to make sure that it gets included in the final bill and that the conference committees support the Senate's position. We were working to address Minnesota management and budget concerns. It's not okay that 56% of the state employees with disabilities leave state government within a year. The state needs to create a more inclusive and welcoming environment for people with disabilities to contribute to their talents and meet workforce needs. This study will be addressed in the House and Senate Government Policy and Finance State Government Conference Committee. Vocational Rehab received its request for full funding in the House at $8 million, and it got $7 million in from the Senate. The bill is in both the House and the Senate Ombus Bills and will be heard in the House and Senate State Government Finance and Policy Conference Committee. Both the House and the Senate included their requests for $211,000 to address interpreter shortages and to make policy changes that will allow them to provide more services and more equipment in the telecommunication distribution program.
the bill was heard in the House and did not get a hearing in the Senate. It does not have a good chance of passage. It will be discussed in the State Government and Elections Conference Committee. The conference committees began their discussions on the House and the Senate versions of bills after legislators returned from their spring break on April 23, 2019. The House and the Senate is busy appointing members of the conference committees. The committees will have to agree on what will be in the final bills. Once the bills are passed from their committees, they will go to the floor of the House and the Senate for final passage. Then they will get sent to the governor to be signed. The governor can either sign the bills or veto all or parts of the bills. Things are moving fast. We still have more work to do before sessions end on May 20th, 2019. If you have any questions, please contact Mary Hartnett 